Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with a quick video. Guys, I'm going to show y'all what a 1450, 1450 watt pressure wash can do with maintenance car washing. Well, I'm going to show you guys that you don't need a whole lot of PSIs when you're using a pressure washer. I'm going to show you why, because my pressure washer here, 1450 PSI, is actually peel the pin stripe off right here. And, um... Actually, you don't need no more than that for car washing, guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys what a 1,450 PSI press washer can do at maintenance car washing. All right? And I'm about to show you how strong it is, man. And I'm about to show you guys it. You don't take a whole lot. It don't even have to be that strong, actually. The uh, detail cars. All right? So I'm about to show you guys. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Let me pop this baby on. Here we go. Now watch this guys, watch this now. Do what I mean? That is plenty strong. Right there. For maintenance car washing and stuff. This thing actually feel the paint off the rims. See? Take the pinstripe off my car, see? Look at her, it's pulling the pinstripe off. See? See that? She's taking off the pinstripe. Take it all off, will you? Let's show you guys what a 1450 PSI can do. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need it no stronger than this. Yeah. This is strong enough, man, to wash anybody's car. Yeah. Check that out, guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys how strong the pressure go out. Watch this. That's enough to wash anybody's car. It doesn't have to be no stronger than that, guys. That stuff is super strong right there. Strong enough to wash anybody's car. Tell you that much. Yeah. I just want to share this one with you guys. A lot of people think you need this pressure and that pressure. No. I need a whole lot of pressure, man. It's actually killing the pin stripe off, see? Look at her. She's just taking the pin stripe off. Doesn't bother me about it coming off, but look at here. 1450 PSI actually fill off the pin stripe. You guys can see that. See? Cut it right off. Okay. Put the pin stripe off the car. Probably look better without it. <laughs> See? Just gonna share this with you guys, man. How it peeled off the pin stripe. Look just as good without it being up there, though. But I'll uh, just show you guys what it can do. See? 1,450 PSI is plenty strong for washing cars. Yeah. Watch how strong the thing go out. See? See the pattern here? That thing is super strong to wash anybody's car. Yeah. You just 
pulling the pin straight right off, see? Might as well peel it all the way down. Take it all the way off. Old school anyway, but uh, yeah, see? And this would be good for maintenance car washing out there. 1450 PSI is all you need. Thing good for cleaning wheel wells and all. Huh? Can't take the paint off the wheel wheel in here. Yeah. Oh, bouncing back on me. <laughs> take that pin strike right off. Huh? See that? Fine screen. Look at that. Took it right off. I want to share that with you guys, man. Alright. I got them out of here. This, this is good enough for maintenance car washing. You don't need no more than this. 1450 watts. PSIs, I mean, is enough to do anything with. See? All right, guys, I'm going to pop this thing off, and I'm out of here. Huh? I'm out of here, guys, this time. <laughs> That's it. Now, I could talk a little better, though, before I leave. But anyway, yeah, guys, this 1,450 PSI is a plenty for doing maintenance car washing. Regular car washing, you don't need a pressure washer. No stronger than that. That's enough to do the job. That's enough to do the job, guys. I just want to share that with you, and I only paid 40 bucks for that thing. All right? So, uh, there you go. I hope this helps, man. If you think you need 3,000 PSI and all that stuff, you're wrong. You don't need that much pressure to wash no car. Not even a house. This thing, a clean house is good. All right? Take care, man. I'm out of here. Peace.